Hey Garland, Curtis Kelly here at Capo VW. I'm gonna show you the two Tiguans that you're asking me about. Now the Tiguan S is the basic and this is what a Tiguan S is gonna look like. You will need the key fob to open the door. It's going to be key start. You're gonna have manual seats on both sides. Now there is no Tiguan made with power seats on the passenger side. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. This is where your screen will be for your backup camera. You have AM, FM, uh, along with Apple CarPlay, and you have your analog dash right there. There's the key you'll need to get in and out of the car. Let's walk around it. It's gonna have crossbars. All T1s have crossbars. Vents in the rear for your passengers. And all T1 front wheel drives will have a third row. Let's take a look at that. So you can see this third row is folded down. We can pull it up for someone to get back there. And it's gonna be manual clothes. So this is what a Tiguan is gonna look like. Uh, the Tiguan punch is well above its weight as far as popularity and what you get on the car without additional costs. For instance, on this Tiguan S, you're gonna get uh, blind spot monitoring, forward traffic alert with autonomous braking, and rear traffic alert. Now let's look at the next car that you asked about which is the SEL. We're going to start here at the rear and you're going to get rear parking sensors on the SEL. This particular SEL is a four motion but it also has that third row and this is what it's going to look like. I do have uh, the SEL in front wheel drive. And as you can see, I can push a button and drop the hatch. Walk around here. Let's talk about the most important differences between the car. One is a power seat. Two is going to be VTEC seating. Uh, you can keep the key in your pocket to open the car door, which we call Kessie Key. You get a much larger screen on this one. Uh, on this particular one, uh, no, on all of them, you're going to get heated seats on the SEL. Let's start it up. We're going to push button start. Here's the key right there. And this is what your digital screen is going to look like. And we can change that digital screen. SEL will come with built in navigation along with Apple CarPlay. So there's quite a bit of difference between the two cars. Both are great. I sell a lot of S's, I sell a lot of T1s, period. So that's about all I can say right now, but please give me a call. I can be reached at 949-307-7662. I'm going to end this video with the front of the car. Has auto lights. And I do have a regular SEL front wheel drive. And here at the bottom here, you're going to get directional headlamps, fog lamps, I should say, and LED daytime running lights. All SELs will come with a sunroof. I almost forgot that part. It's a panel roof, and it also is going to have side rails. All right, we're getting information out to you on both of these cars. You're going to get the S first. Please let us know if you want the SEL as well. S is the most uh, economical choice if your goal is to save money. Apologize for such a long video, but give me a call, Curtis at Capital VW.